about uh, Exile Vilify for Portal 2, uh, written by The National. So I think you have to go back a couple steps here and first look at, you know, Portal 1, it's an unknown game, we're working on it, and Eric and Kim uh, discovered Jonathan Colton, and they really want him to do the song, and I get dragged into this meeting with Gabe, uh, where they're just like, Eric's like, I'll, I'll, I'll buy the song myself. If it fails, it's, if it's the worst thing, I'll pay for everything. I will like, like, he's just so wanting Jonathan Colton. Cause Eric's really good at understanding like that feeling, like I, you know, everything that needs there. And, um, we're all laughing cause he's getting really wound up and Gabe's whole thing is like, I don't like, that's fine. We'll pay for it. It's a modest amount of money. Um, the bigger thing that, that Gabe cared about was, will you pull it? If it's bad, if it's hurting, hurting the game, will you remove it? And so once Eric agreed to that, uh, Gabe agreed. So, okay, C game comes out. Eh, little white thing. Uh, game becomes a big hit. Uh, song becomes a big hit. And, okay, so we're going to do song for Portal 2. Uh, get Jonathan Colton back to do the end song. But we thought it'd be funny, as much like in Portal 1, when people thought they got to the end of the, like, where they went into the fire and they thought that was the end of the game. Let's do something like that again, but let's lean into it. Let's get a really serious, deep, just sad song. And we're kind of thinking of like, who can do a really good, deep, serious, sad song? And well, I'm a big fan of the National. Uh, was before this, and so I, I think I mentioned the National, or maybe uh, Jason Holtman did. Uh, then we pulled up some songs for them. I remember playing Green Gloves for people, and everyone's like, "Yeah, that'd be really good. That'd be really good." But they're they're too big for us. But they had not quite gotten out of their trajectory yet, so we could we could get them. Uh, and so we reached out to them. Uh, Bug Music uh, was their manager. Hey, friends over there. I think aren't there anymore, but yeah. Everyone, the whole thing is everyone was super nice to work with there. So as things go, I started working with them on the song is because Jay and Eric were too busy. And so actually this guy, hang on. I should, I should be tiny. Uh, if you ever see this guy right here, uh, that's Aaron Destner. Uh, you'll see him with Taylor Swift all the time. He writes her songs or uh, arranges them or very connected with her now. Uh, he's a super talented artist who works with a bunch of other uh, s smaller artists as well before, but now I think he is he is, he is up in the big leagues. Uh, so I don't think he get bigger than that. So he's a really, really talented guy, but also an insanely nice guy. I to meet them all when we, they came to Seattle. Uh, if you ever watched the national movie uh, about uh, kind of the brother and the crazy brother, uh, uh, oh my God, what's the name? Rangers. I, it's just one of their songs. One of my favorite songs of theirs. Uh, but it, it, when the brother gets kicked off the tour, it's right before I'm about to meet the brother. And the brother ends up being this really portal, big Portal fan. And so he's telling them, hey, yeah, you should totally do this song. So they're going to do this song. We meet at the concert just to make sure we're all not weird and creepy. We all like each other. Actually, we hang out with Aaron a lot. Um, and so we're going, okay, we're going to do it. And so then, um, me and Aaron just start doing phone calls cause they're on tour and they're writing this on tour. Now they're very busy. This is a small thing. The brother's not even connected anymore. Like it's kind of falling apart, except Aaron ends up being a super nice guy. He's from Cincinnati. I'm from Cleveland. So we have a little bit of connection there. And we start talking a lot about like our lives of, I travel a lot. He travels a ton. And I remember he would just send me like pictures from the Grand Ole Opry backstage. And he was just he, like, he was not faking being a humble guy, being, amazed at where his life had taken him. And I always thought that was really cool. So we're talking back and forth on it. All right, so we get we get it out there. We're working with their manager as well, Bug Music. Uh, met a bunch of people there. Again, everyone, like, they just surrounded themselves really nice people. And so game comes out, or game's about to come out, and we realize we're going to cut that scene. We're going to cut that scene of the fake death. So where are we going to put it? Well, uh, we got this Ratman guy in the radio, and it kind of fits that. And so we kind of retrofitted it a little bit. Um, and so then that gets it into the game. We get it out. By that point, their trajectory is just taking off, right? Uh, High Violet is knocking it out of the park. And everybody, I mean, maybe you guys don't know of them because you're, I don't know. Because you have bad taste in music. Uh, zing. No, I don't know. Um but like they were really big at that point. And so we did the contest with them where we um, let you do uh, a music video to their song. And it was funny is we um, just just said, hey, you know, you can do whatever. And, and Jay, I remember just Jay Pinkerton made a joke about a sock puppet. Well, the sock puppet won. Because it's really good. It's really moody. Look, go look Exile Vilify um, Portal 2 winner or sock puppet. It's really funny because it's really moody. And there's like, oh, that guy was so good at it. 
I think it was like Irish islands he was walking around. Uh, but people actually got mad because there's like all that we got so many entries. And some of them were like, they put a lot of work into them. They did a lot of things. Not to say that guy didn't, but people, they did traditional VFX kind of work. And so I actually wrote a system so that everybody at Valve, you could just choose to see like five videos and then you would just vote up, down, up, down, up, down. And we just kept doing that and like cycling it through. Uh, I forgot to tell some people that we had already verified that these all had the song in them and you didn't have to verify that. So some people... I just listened to that song like hundreds of times and they, they hate it now uh, because of that. And I feel bad because I like that song. Um, but so that's how it happened. And then I, we internally voted and the sock puppet won. And one of the ones that had a lot of animation work done into it was number two. And some people internally were like, man, number two, we should like, we feel bad. This like picking the sock puppet. And then I went to um, the, the national and I asked, I'm like, Hey, which one do you guys like out of like these three? I think the top three. And they were overwhelmingly the sock puppet one is so good. Cause it's just so good. It's just so good. And so, yeah, there you go. And then a little weird later thing. Um, at one point valve, we were doing bonuses and Gabe just sent out a company wide email and said that I'm not going to get my bonus because I got my national song. He's kind of right. I got my bonus too though. It was okay. 